Today we're going to have a look at captions. Now to put a caption on a photo is quite an easy thing to do. A picture, you can put it on a photo or a picture or anything you like actually, any object. But you need to highlight the object, and in this case I've chosen a photo, and click on its property browser. You'll find that the menu that shows up is called Label, and the first line in that menu says Caption. So you can type in what you want to show up on this picture. Now for this photo I want bromine to show up. Uh, I'm going to label the bottle with the orange liquid as bromine. Um, and the other thing I want to do here is go down to the bottom of the menu and for behavior click on tooltip. So now my caption will only show up when I run my mouse over the top of that photo. You can change the font and you can change the font size, the colour and all the rest of it as well. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. So whenever I scroll over this photo, I have that bromine caption come up by the bottle. I can move that caption around so I can put it wherever I want and it will just be where I left it next time I come to it. Now with pictures you can only put, with each object you can only put one caption. So if you have an object that you want more than one caption um, to show up on, then you need to put some other objects with it. Now I use Magic Ink to provide me with an invisible object, so you can't see it, but when I roll my mouse over it, the caption rolls up. As you can see, that happens on this picture of a plant. Now I haven't done the flower yet, but and so I'll show you what I've done. I've actually locked that picture onto into the page into the flip chart um, so it doesn't come up when I try and draw on it. Now I select my magic ink tool and I'm just going to draw across the flower wherever I think I might put my mouse and in one continuous motion so I only have one object there. Now when I click on that now I've got a highlighted area and I can move that up a little bit to cover the whole flower. What I'm going to do now is go over to my property browser and go to the label menu again and in caption here I'm just going to type in flower. I have on the other ones increased the font size to 14 so I'll do that here as well and I will make that behavior a tool tip as well. So now when I run my mouse over the top of the flower, the flower will come up, the flower caption will come up and I can move that to where I want it to show up and I might put it over here. So I've got my flower, my leaf, my stem, other leaf and the roots. And that's all you have to do to put captions on.